I'm Ron Clark. Today, I want to talk about the mental body. Um, so, in initiation to hermetics, we start out uh, working with the astral body. The astral equilibrium of the elements is really our, our first task um, in our initiation. Uh, and we achieve that through the character transformation. Later in initiation in Hermetics, we come to the elemental equilibrium of the mental body, which is obviously a bit different. We're not, at that point, dealing with um, character traits. Uh, but we are, in a sense, not the astral character, we're dealing with the mental character of the individual self. So, it really starts in step six, really serious work on the mental equilibrium, but Bard never really calls it this, um, but this is what the work is. Um, it starts out with uh, a meditation on the mind, he calls it. And what this does is it it defines for one what needs to be equilibrated. Um, we have to look at the various aspects of the mental body, and these correspond with the elements, just like the astral uh, characteristics. Uh, you assign them to the elements, so you make this correspondence between these parts of the uh, personality and the elements. So the same is done with the mind. So we have an earth region of the mental body, a water region of the mental body, an air region of the mental body, and a fire region of the mental body. And I spoke a little bit about the fire region in my recent video on uh, mental wandering and the with the greater self, specifically. Um, and we also have an eternal aspect of the mental body. This is what I call the greater self, the, the Bina self. Um, and we can't forget that, because this is our connection uh, with the divine, you know, with the, the infinite, with the, the non-sequential, eternal parts of the universe, our direct connection to them. Um, so, let's start with the earth region of the mental body. This is your normal physical awareness, but this is also includes the unconscious parts of our awareness, the, the automatic bodily responses, like the, you know, in surprise when something comes at you. This is automatic. We, we, it's hardwired into us as human beings. That is part of the earth zone, um, the earth region of the mental body. But it's a little more complex than that. It's the, the only part of the mental body where that part of our awareness, the unconscious awareness, exists. But it also, the earth region, includes the whole of the mental body. The, the, when we're in our physical bodies, we are in the physical bodies as the fire, air, and water regions of the mental body. So it's all combined here in the physical body, and the result is the earth region of the mental body. So the earth region is this composite of awareness. It's where we feel physical sensation and where our body continues on, does the things it does. It's where, you know, it's the part of my awareness that moves my hands while I'm talking. It's completely unconscious, okay? automatic. So then the water region of the mental body is our feelings, our emotions, our ascribing significance to things. In other words, it's our astral awareness um, of feelings, of sensing, 
everything, of interacting with the universe around us, giving it significance and relevance. Okay, this is the water region of the mental body equivalent to the astral body. It's our astral awareness, because the astral body itself, the sort of, you know, the sort of physical components, as it were, of the astral body, don't have any will of their own. You know, our astral body is stupid and dumb. It needs to have the mental body inside of it for it to have life. Okay, that's, that's with all astral bodies. The, their aliveness is the mental body that inhabits them at this astral uh, level of uh, existence. So, that's the water region. Now, the air region is the thinking mind. It's the intellect. It's the part of our awareness that labels everything, that, you know, gives everything a name, identifies, and uh, combines. Uh, it's the part of us that, that deals in ideas. Okay? This is the thinking mind, the thinking awareness. And it, of course, inhabits the astral awareness and gives it life, and the physical awareness and animates it all. Okay, so this is the air region of the mental body. Now, the fire region of the mental body is the region of pure perception. Okay? and pure expression. It's, uh, Barton calls it the will. And this is it. It's the, the, the director. It is the one who thinks. It is the one who feels. Okay? Uh, without the fire region, <laughs> the rest of it's empty, dead. You know, the fire region is the animating part of the mind. It doesn't think, but it, it inhabits the thinking mind and causes it to think. But the fire region is without thought and without words. It doesn't label anything. It just perceives and expresses. Perceives and expresses. This is the, the part of mind that we first touch upon with the emptiness of mind exercise beginning in step one. This is a point of that exercise to introduce us to the fire aspect of mind. And, well, you will have experienced that. And so you know that part of mind that I'm talking about. And this is the part of mind that is capable of connecting with the eternal parts of the mental body. The, the elemental regions of the mental body are what I call the temporal mental body. It's temporary. It does not last forever. The eternal mental body, the eternal awareness, is, well, eternal. It does last forever. It always has existed. Um, but the elemental regions of the mental body you know, are here only because we are incarnating in a physical body. Okay? They're all part of incarnating. The fire region of the mental body remains essentially unchanged in the process of incarnation. We have a new water region, a new earth region, a, a relatively new air region, uh, but the fire region is the, the, the continuity throughout incarnation, more so than the air region. Because the air region is always evolving, you know, and the, the, the water region is, you know, constantly evolving, <laughs> um, etc. So these are the, the basically what we're, Barden deals with is the four regions four elemental regions of the mental body when he comes to 
the equilibrium. And so, when it comes to equilibrium of these regions, we have to look at them. We have to analyze ourselves. How strong or how active is the water region of our mental body? How feeling are we? Uh, how do we express ourselves emotionally or not? You know, um, and the, the, the air region. How intellectual are we? You know, how acute is our intellect? And the physical, you know, how, how integrated into our bodies are we? Um, and then the, the fire region, you know, really how perceptive are we? How much time do we reside in that aspect of our awareness that is the perceiver and the pure expressor? So we have to analyze each of these parts in much the same way that we analyze the character traits. Um, and what our goal is to find a balance between these aspects of ourself so that we are well-rounded. You know, we, we are integrated into our bodies. We are free in our uh, emotive uh, capabilities. Uh, and we are capable intellectually of perceiving, you know, and understanding and knowing, okay? And that is the goal of the elemental equilibrium, is to liberate the fire aspect of our awareness, of our consciousness, of our mental body, so that it can penetrate into the eternal realm, so that we can become aware of uh, our greater self and, you know, in a more substantial way, the I, and then integrate all of that back into these lower aspects of the mental body, because that is an important part of this process, is learning how to take these perceptions of the fire region of the mental body and integrate them to the air region where we can think about them, we can put them in context. And then in the water region where we can feel about them. And then in the physical region where we can act upon them. Okay? And Barden also describes this as the magical action when you have integrated these four regions of the mental body so that they are working together. You know, it, it is your fire region that is willing, that is directing your actions, and the air region that you are thinking about them, the water region where you are feeling them, and the earth region where you are manifesting them. Okay? And the, the four regions need to work together to form a magical action so that a physical action can have immediate astral and mental effects as well. So in a, a ritual is the, uh, the best example of this where you are employing a magical action. It's just not a physical movement. It is a physio astra mental movement, which has a very different significance than just a physical movement. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think that is all that I need to say on the four regions of the mental body. For, for more on this and some really uh, practical uh, uses of these four regions, I suggest checking out my Self-Healing Archaeus. Uh, you can find it amongst the videos here on my YouTube channel. Okay, at least you will find the audio lessons in the Archaeus, uh, you know, put out in video format. Okay, that's it for this time. See you next time. Bye-bye.